We all got that one friend that can embarrass us at any given moment. And if you can't think of one, there's a high chance that you're the friend that's embarrassing all your other homies. Now my boy Nate Jackson is hands down one of the funniest comedians ever. But when we're in public, he has given me plenty of embarrassing moments. Perfect example, I went to the grocery store with him recently and he was singing out loud every item that he was picking up. He was like, ooh, we gonna get some eggs. I'm like, Nate, we don't need to be singing all that. There's people looking at us. He's like, nigga, ain't nobody paying attention to us. I'm like, Nate, there was a lady right here staring at me. Anytime I would try to walk away, he'd be like, Matt, where you at? I'm like, Nate, stop singing my name. But this one time we went to a Denny's and I could not believe what he did. As soon as we walk in, you can see that it's packed in there. The first thing Nate does at the top of his lungs is like, we in here, uh, we gonna need a table for two. I'm like, Nate, come on, man, you know that's not how this works. He's like, uh, nigga, this is Denny's and I'm hungry. I'm getting us a table. So the hostess walks up. Before she can even talk, Nate just starts laying on the charm. He's like, oh, how you doing, beautiful? She's like, I'll be with you guys in a second. Because she's clearly busy. So I'm looking around the restaurant. I'm seeing that every table is full. And I'm like, yo, Nate, I don't think we're going to be seated anytime soon. He's like, nigga, stop being so negative. I'm like, no, it's not negative. I just don't see an open table. And that's where I should have watched my words. He's like, oh, you can't see? You need help seeing? He picks me up from under my arms. Now mind you, I'm a 6'1", 200 pound grown man. He picks me up and lifts me in the air over his shoulders and he's holding me up in front of everybody in this restaurant. And he's like, do you see an open table? Nate, can you see an open table? I'm like, Nate, put me down. <laughs> I can't believe he's holding me up like this. This, he's not resting on anything. He's not leaning me on anything. He is just holding me up under my arms like I'm a toddler. I was like, Nate, sit me down. He's like, nah, Nate, I just wanna make sure you can see an open table. I'm like, Nate, please, you need to put me down. It was so embarrassing. My feet are swinging as he's turning me. Finally, he sits me down. I'm feeling like less of a man and I'm just staring at him out of pure irritation. He's like, what, nigga, did you see anything? I'm like, nah, man, like, that's embarrassing. You just did that in front of everybody. He's like, nigga, ain't nobody even concerned about you. I was like, bro, there's a whole family just staring at me. They had all stopped eating just to watch what was going on. Eventually, we did get seated. We ate our food, and what made it worse is he's such a genuinely nice guy, he paid for the meal. But I'd already felt like less of a man. I was like, nah, man, I'm gonna pay for my half. Like, don't worry, I got my half. But he's just a nice guy, so he paid for it anyway. He wouldn't let me cover my part, so. I guess moral of this story, you know, get you some friends that'll embarrass you in public because it makes life a little bit more enjoyable. But yeah, my boy Nate Jackson, he's hilarious, but he'll embarrass you. The sad thing is like, as I'm telling this story, I know he's logging it away and he's just gonna make my life a little worse now in public and he's gonna roast me and, I, and I'm gonna go through it. I know it, I know Nate.